Hello everybody, welcome back to another epic tier list video. Today, by popular demand, we are doing the math symbols tier list. Let's go. Okay, so start with a plus sign. It's iconic. So I think it was an A tier. It's not, nothing too crazy, but you know, A, kind of iconic. Not A. Yeah, it's A. Whatever. Parentheses, that's S. Um, and that's probably just because I'm a programmer. So, you know, I feel like that's kind of cheating. But whatever. That's all very useful because that's just like control the order of operation. You know, very important. Here we go. The um, and intersect. Uh, I kind of forget which one's which, but now I remember. Um, you know, I'm going to put it in B tier and I'm going to put the union also in B tier because I they're too confusing. And I feel like they're the same thing. I, I, get, I know it's stupid, but like I kind of need to think about which one's the union, which one's intersect. Like, come on, you could have done like something slightly different. Okay, minus sign. I'm gonna put, put it with plus sign, you know, I, but lower, lower, you know. Well, you know, let's order the tiers. Um, uh, I like union more because you can be like you, union. There we go. A minus is worse than plus because it's literally just plus a negative number. You know, it's just kind of stupid. Um, this, unless I, and those are oh, those are just square brackets, I guess. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Well, when you use these, I have no idea when you use these in math. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I know. Uh, so they go B. Uh, this is oh my god, what's it? Subset, not subset. Um, perfect. Su not something like that. Or contains or whatever. It's like a subset, but like Yeah, it's a subset, but they can't be the same. I don't remember which one it is. Um B tier, nothing's less than or equal greater than or equal to. Mm, I like them. I like the design of the symbol, but I think their names are a little too big, so I'm gonna put them in the top of B tier. Infinity? That's an easy S. Above parenthesis, it's it just, it's cool, it's infinite, it's like amazing, it's like an eight sideways, which makes it pretty cool. And then Aleph, number one, that's an easy S tier, just because it's a Hebrew letter alone, but then it, you know, deals with actual, like, infinities and, like, different types of infinities, and oh my god, that's so cool. And then the contrary, that's not contrary, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the opposite, the not. And I'm going to put that in the bottom, uh, okay, I'll, I'll right above the parentheses, because when I did it in my math class, I, the professor wrote it like, like the Waluigi symbol, and I think that's funny. Uh, division symbol, that's easy F, no one should ever use a symbol in their entire lives. Um, use, you, just, just, just write a fraction, come on, man, come on. Uh, curly brackets, though, that, that's an S tier, those are fun to draw, even if you're really hard to, uh, you know, I'm going to put that, put that right here. Hunt the draw, they help with sets, you know. All good. Um this I'm gonna be I'm kinda blanking on what this was. I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest. I might have learned this. C. There's a carrot and a V. Oh, oh no, this is and an or, I think. Well it is. Okay. Um C, because there's better ways of representing and an or. Multiplication, also F, uh, above division, though. Um, you really you really shouldn't be using the multiplication symbol. It, it looks too much like an X. When you're writing X, yeah. the dot the dot right here, we'll get to in a second, much better. Um, this, you know, this isn't parallel. This is absolute value, I'm guessing. Because there's no perpendicular. Uh, absolute value... Um, middle of B tier, I'll say. Because, like, it's it's pretty simple and pretty useful for things, but it just, like, doing calculations with it, doing calculations with it, let's move it down a little bit, kind of cringe. All right, uh, this is for each, I think. I don't know, whatever. I, I know what it is, I don't remember what it's called. It's like... I don't know. Whatever. B tier. Nothing simple. It's a backwards Z. Dot. Uh, it's just multiplication. Again. But like a good 
thing, but it's also kind of still bad notation, I'm going to be honest, because, like, it, it kind of hard to see, and then, you know, yeah. Double integral, I don't know why this is separate from regular integral or whatever. Um, I mean, it's just a regular integral. So, easy A tier. Actually, no, S tier. Easy S tier. The, uh, the, the number, the, I don't know, the set, not the set, I don't know what they're called. You know what I mean. Like, oh, real numbers, imaginaries, rational, whatever. Uh, these are dumb. They're just letters, but they're written fancily. I'll put them in D. And it's, it's just like, come on, you could have, like, I don't know. Made it slightly more easy to whatever. Square root, um kind of fun. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say bottom of A, you know? Uh this is I'm guessing the prime symbol. This is another possibility. So that's derivative, so that's easy S tier. And then here is other derivative, but okay, so like I know prime is easy to write, but DDX gives you more info. So dx is better when you're taking the derivative. This is showing the derivative. I think taking the derivative is better. Equal sign. I mean, it's a classic. You, you can't not put it in S, but where in S? I think right right here. And this is implies. Um, I th I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna say a, but it's not better than plus or minus. But it's be it's better than square root. Uh oh my god. It's um, partial integral derivative. I mean, it's just a, it's the same thing as a derivative, but it's slightly fancier, so it's, it's a little better. Um, about that's about right. I forgot the official definition of it, the official the, the fancy term, but whatever. It's about. Um, very useful. Uh, bottom of s. This is um. I forgot the fancy name, but it's if and only if, um, or bidirectional implication. That's, there's a better name for that, but whatever. Um, I'm just better. That's, I'll put it right here. It's a little better than that. Integral up here. Is this, okay. Is it better than the double? The double is just a regular one, but more work. So let's do that. Let's, let's move that down a little bit. It's just a regular, but more work. Less than or, or greater than, like, I mean, low A. Not as hype of a symbol as these, but um, don't, like, take, like, ten words to say. Um, then this is universal thingy. Um, where did I put the E there? This is a better symbol because it's an upside down A and not just a backwards E. So I'm going to say top of B. You know, classic. And then the contour integral, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've, I've used this once. I don't remember what it does. So I think it sucks. So C. This is, I think, includes for sets or is in. Um, I don't know. Sets kind of suck. My other kind of cool. Whatever. A, bottom of A. Put it here. Uh, now this is the um, subset, but like it can be the same where I put the first subset down there. Uh, just kind of bottom of A again, nothing too fancy. And then Sigma, it's really useful, but it's kind of, kind of cringe to write. So top of B tier, like, like it's so useful to like ass up, but like you have to write, oh, Sigma. It's also kind of hard to draw this thing when you I equals B, 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 B. It's kind of annoying, whatever. So here we go. Here's my definitive uh, math symbols tier list. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. 